returning to the dribble. He appeared to roll that ankle. So right here he stops, and there it is. Yeah. That rolled the right ankle, and he was in some distress right away. That's pain. He's trying to fight through it. Hello Dub Nation, Warriors superstar Steph Curry sprained his right ankle while attempting a crossover dribble with just over 5 minutes left in regulation. The strong images that go around the world and fill us with concern. After all, losing Curry at this point would be saying goodbye to any aspirations of fighting for the title. The good news is that despite being visibly uncomfortable, Curry never left the game. After stumbling, he actually scored 13 points. After the injury scare, remember that Stephen Curry missed three games last month. After twisting the same ankle in a match against the Chicago Bulls, which caused fear for the entire team and its fans. However, in the post-game interview after the previous game against the Pelicans, the player gave a short but good update on the injury. I rolled it just slightly, but uh, on the scale of all the ankle injuries I've had, this is definitely on the milder side, so I should be alright. Curry admitted to the said trip, but insisted there was nothing to worry about because the incident didn't hurt his foot too much. In this case, the Warriors could choose to accept whatever the team's fate is for the final game of the regular season and rest key players, especially Curry, due to the fact they enter the play-in tournament. And the team here fully understands that the Warriors can't make the playoffs without some of their key players, like Stephen Curry. So they have to hope that Curry is right in his feelings and that this uncle role isn't as bad as feared. When Steve Kerr was asked about possible rest, he immediately said that part of the final game against the Utah Jazz will be rested in preparation for the play-in tournament. The Warriors could still clinch 8th place in the Western Conference standings if the Pelicans beat the Lakers and if the Portland Trail Blazers also beat the Sacramento Kings. While the Warriors need to win the match against the Utah Jazz in the last match of the regular season. This time, the Warriors have little chance of reaching 8th place, especially since the Kings against the Blazers are expected to win because Portland has already been eliminated. While Draymond Green has once again proven some incredible things he can do in a crucial game that oh the Warriors will need a lot, especially as they remain in postseason games. Although he lost to the Pelicans, Draymond Green made history as a unique NBA player who had an extraordinary record. Draymond Green is the only NBA player who recorded a double-double statistic without even a field goal and free throw attempts with his 12 rebounds, 11 assists, 1 steal and 1 block. And of course, 0 points scored. This also came two games after Green's crazy 5-5 three-pointers against the Lakers. The story may be funny, but Green proves once again that in basketball, a player's value is not measured by the points he scores. Green's performance is also one of the reasons why, despite the Pelicans' three-point shooting in the previous game, the Warriors were still able to hit. Such a level of performance will reinforce his important role in all of Golden State's matches, especially in postseason games. Dub Nation, who would you like the Warriors to face in the play-in tournament and why? Leave your comments, opinions, criticisms, suggestions in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching Gold Blooded News. Turn on notifications so you know when I send new news. A hug and see you next. We're Gold Blooded! Go Dubs!